What's going on everybody? It's Game of Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video we're going to be building Quicksilver using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so we've already made Scarlet Witch, so let's make Quicksilver. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to choose one of the slots. You could overwrite one or you could choose a new one. You can see I've already made Jean Grey, Mania the Symbiote, Jessica Jones from the Marvel's Netflix series, Scarlet Witch from Avengers Age of Ultron, and now of course we're going to be making green bearded Tony Stark <laughs> I don't know why it looks like that but let's uh, let's see what we can do right so to make Quicksilver this is how I have basically done it and I've went through a lot of different versions of this trying to perfect it and I'm quite happy with how this one turned out the thing that I kept coming back to was the hair the hair was really bothering me there are so many different hairstyles you can choose from and I couldn't settle on which one and I'm gonna show you guys the one that I settled on but you can totally go for something else if you want you can follow this tutorial and go for a completely different hairstyle it's entirely up to you so first off let's get rid of that beard I do not want a green bearded Quicksilver Right, the first thing we want to do is for the head. Um, so the head that I chose, it's got like black eyebrows and he looks kind of, not angry, but uh, like he means business. It's not it's not that one. Is it this one? Yeah, hammer. Yeah, I think this one looks pretty good. He doesn't look angry there, he looks sad, but there you go, there's angry. <laughs> yeah, I think this one looks good. I know some of you might have wanted me to use this one, but the smiley face and the... Uh, you know, the, the brown eyebrows is kind of throwing me off. So I think hammers looks better here. So for the hair, we're going to do that last. We're going to do that last because I'm going to show you guys how it all looks when it's finished. So first off, let's start with the hands. We'll go for white hands. For the body, we want to go for blue marvel. For the arms, we want to go for blue marvel as well, which is right here. You can see it's already coming together. For... The hips, again, we want blue marvel. A lot of blue marvel pieces, but trust me, this turns out really nice. Uh, oh yeah, it's at the top, of course. Duh. There it is, blue marvel. And then for the legs, you're actually going to use Quake. Because Quake says the only legs with blue, blue legs, dark blue legs, and white boots. And I just think that turns out really nice. Now, obviously, it looks kind of weird without hair. But if we put some hair on Quicksilver real quick, you'll see that we put it white. There's different colors, obviously, but I just think it looks better white. And there you go. See, I think that looks pretty good. There's a lot of hairstyles you can choose from. I'll show you guys a few others that you could maybe go for for Quicksilver. You could maybe have that one. That one looks all right. You could have... Uh, where is it? You could have that one. That's quite classic. Uh, and I think I think Aaron Taylor Johnson's is up here somewhere. That kind of looks like uh, the X-Men movie version of Quicksilver's hair, if you made it, like, gray. And then I think this is... Quicksilver from the Age of Ultron sets hair, but personally, after messing around in gameplay and playing around with the different hairstyles and things, I think this one looks the best in gameplay. I just think that reminds me a lot more of Quicksilver, the spiky kind of hair look, so that's pretty cool. But like I said, you can totally go for something else if you want to. So, now that we have the design out the way, we're of course going to be choosing the abilities. Not many abilities to choose here. Um, I'm not sure if I'd give him techno access. I think I'd just leave all that stuff off. Uh, grapple, no. No wall climbing, no mind control, no magic, no deflect, no cracking Lego walls, uh, no fixing thing. Uh, maybe. I'm just going to leave all that. I'm just going to focus on the powers because I don't really know what you would choose for Quicksilver there. Uh, right. For square, you just want fighting. And then for hold square, you want... You don't want a beam, you want a targeted lunge. So you can lunge at people when you're super speed and around. It's really cool actually when you do that. And then for circle, you don't want anything either, I don't think. Uh, you don't want to be able to shrink. Yeah, you don't want anything on circle. So your main abilities is just square. It's just, uh, it's just tap square to punch and hold square to target people and lunge at them. Then of course for X, for double tap, you definitely don't want to be a web swinger. I personally don't really like the double jump, so I'm going to leave that off. Uh, hold, I don't think we need hyper jump either. The 
The main thing you want for traversal is super speed, which is right here. So for movement speed, you can go for default, fast, or super fast. This is Quicksilver we're talking about, so we're obviously going to go for super fast. That's definitely the one we're going to go for. So we're going to have super fast, and then you can choose a health icon. I think silver. It's Quicksilver, why not? <laughs> uh, health type... Yeah, we want it as standard. I mean, if you want to make him invincible, go for it, but I just like to make it standard. And then for the voice, you want to choose one of the male voices. So the first three are male voices, and the other three are female voices. Seeing as how this is the first male character I've made on the channel, we'll start off with voice one, and then we'll work our way down and probably go back around again eventually. So we'll have that one. And I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, target reticle, we want that. And that's everything in there done. So we've done abilities, appearance, he doesn't have any weapons, we've done passive traits, we're not going to randomize it because that would ruin all our hard work. Uh, miscellaneous, right, character name. So obviously you want to put it in caps because the game, the font is all in caps, so it's better to just follow what the game does. So it looks better in the roster. Quick silver. Quick silver, yeah, nice. And then for the background image, a lot of different backgrounds you can choose. But for me, I always settle on this one. I just think that looks the best, you know, just just for a simple Marvel uh, City character. But there you go. That is Quicksilver made in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop him in the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, our custom-made Quicksilver in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Let's just get a good look at him right here. Very, very cool. I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. I mean, like I said about the hair, you could mess around with the hair all day and choose different ones, but I'm quite happy with the spiky hair, and I think from the back it looks really cool, you know? And I know Quicksilver has a green suit as well, but I just prefer the blue and white. I mean, I haven't actually tried to see if you could make the green one, but I think this turned out really nice. I think that torso piece really brings it all together. Um, but yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. Right, so let's actually run around the map and everything. We've got Scarlet Witch here, the twins. So cool seeing them together now, actually, now that they're finished. Look at that. Let's just have a good close-up there. Awesome. All right, so let's go. Let's go fight some crime and stuff. Okay, there's apparently some bad guys in Wakanda, so let's go there. Wakanda, where are you? Suspicious man skulking around behind the city. I could hear... I think they're talking about Stan Lee. Because <laughs> I think he's the one that's like hiding around the back of uh, Wakanda. Oh, come on. I had it then. Come on, come on. Come on, Pietro. Come on. Oh, nearly. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to bother spending hours trying to do that. Oh, wow. We could just do this instead. Are you kidding me? Is he doing like poses in the air then? That was weird. All right, let's show off these abilities. So... I know these aren't enemies, but we can at least target some stuff. Cool. I like that. Alright. I might try and make other versions of Quicksilver as well. Um, I might, you know, maybe give it a shot at trying making the Aaron Taylor Johnson one and maybe the X-Men movies. Uh, I think it's... I can't remember the actor's name. Is it? Is it Evans Peters or something? Apologies uh, for forgetting his name. I think it's something like that. But, uh, yeah. I, I might try and make... Uh, I might try and make those versions as well. If I can. I have seen some goggles. Uh, the Tinkerer's goggles. And they could definitely be used for... Uh, Evans Peters X-Men. Uh... Quicksilver. If you guys want to see that, let me know and I'll see what I can do. I'm definitely working on a lot of characters at the moment. Uh, I know a lot of people want to see some specific ones, which I'm definitely working on. Um, this was one of the most requested I could see. You know, a lot of people wanted to see Quicksilver, so happy to show. Okay, I can't seem to get past there at the moment, guys. I think I need, like, a flying character to go fight the bad guys in Wakanda. So what we'll do is we'll move on. We'll go somewhere else in Chronopolis and see if we can find some more bad guys. Uh, we'll go to 2099. Usually that place has trouble or, or something like that. Run, Quicksilver, run. I could see that chaos on the Avengers Mansion rooftop from here. Those yeah, see, from the back there, 
the way it blurs and everything, and you can see his, the back of his hair, it just, it looks like Quicksilver. It looks like classic Quicksilver. Even there, I mean, look at that. Pretty cool. Oh, crime. Yes, please. Right, hopefully it's not in Wakanda this time. No, it's just over here. Nice. Right. At least I think it is. Where is it? Where's this crime you speak of? Oh, down here. Okay. Let me just get a good look at him doing that for a second, because that looks cool. Oh, look at that. That's pretty awesome. I mean, come on. Take that. Hey, let's uh, target all of them. Where are they at? Aha! Whoa, what the heck's that guy doing? Nice. Also, seeing as how I have Scarlet Witch with me, I'll just show you guys, because I know someone said this in the comments. They said how, uh, basically, Scarlet Witch can't actually fly in the MCU yet. She kind of just does a, a jump, and someone suggested that I should have a super jump instead, so I added it. There you go. So she can super jump now, which I actually agree with. I do think that's a much better idea, so good thinking to that person. Whoa. This is, of course, Quicksilver's video, not Wanda. Sorry, Wanda. <laughs> but we did yours yesterday. All right. Let's have a, another run through Chronopolis. It'd be great if they can eventually add, uh, you know, really fast super speed to the character creator, maybe like in a, in a patch or something where we can run as fast as uh, how you could in Lego Marvel's Avengers. I think that would be amazing. If I could have this Quicksilver looking this good and just flying through the city at super fast speeds, like in Lego Avengers, that would be incredible. So if they can work that out, that would be awesome. But for now, I'm still happy with this. I think he looks cool, and I like the effect that comes from Quicksilver. So, yeah. Kang here. If anyone out there Ooh, sees Ramona, bad guys down here. Tell her there's a bee in my room, and I need... Oh, hey! Thanks again for breaking us out of that old shack. It wouldn't have been so bad in there if they'd at least had a TV. Wow, took care of them pretty quickly. Where can I find the simple life, man? We're almost in uh, Sakaar, I believe. Yeah, Sakaar's over here. I actually want to go to Noir, New York. I want to see what Quicksilver looks like in Noir. The employees get two coffee breaks a day. Hey, there's an idea. A, a Noir Quicksilver. 20th hour. <laughs> Can we do that race? No, we can't do that race, but there is races with where you can play as just yourself and run. Maybe I can find one of them. Might be a fun challenge for Quicksilver to do. See how fast he really is. Oh, more bad guys. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Oh, it's a bike race. Oh. Hey, come over here. Aha! Oh, these guys are tough. These are the ones that always take a bit of beating up. Whoa, wait a sec. No, they are not tough. Quicksilver just wiped them out. That was awesome. Can you do it again? Oh, nearly. He's super fast, obviously. Need to let him uh, attack and then... And then I should be able to run in. Oh, here we go. Really? You, do you dodged that? Pretty good. <laughs> this dude is uh, pretty strong. <laughs> Wait, what? What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> what? That was awesome. I didn't know the co I didn't know the custom characters could team up. That was pretty hilarious, actually. Oh, that was that was funny. I like that. What a nice surprise! All right. There might be a a normal like running race around here somewhere. Actually, I think this is the one where you get Misty Knight. So I think that was a just a normal bike race. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, well. What about this one? No, that's still a van. Okay. Run! Quicksilver, run! You can't run on water, I don't think so. I mean, I can try it. I think I've already done it. I mean, he could run underwater. 
just as fast. Oh, he can swim fast as well. That's cool. Can he swim fast underwater? Eh, uh, just kind of. He's still running underwater. <laughs> it's funny. We'll go to Noir, New York, and then we'll loop back around to Manhattan, and then we'll call it a day. Should be up here somewhere. Here we go, and then Noir is over there, I think. Swim! I like how fast he can swim. He can't swim very fast when he's under the water, but when he's above it, he's a really good swimmer, so that's good. Manhattan Noir! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Quicksilver in Noir. Not bad. He, he doesn't look out of place, really. The blue actually goes quite black. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, I love taking pictures in this specific area of Chronopolis. It's so much fun. I actually took some pictures and put them on Twitter yesterday of, uh, you know, Noir and Egypt and 2099 and stuff, and they came out really nice. The Lumeria one I really liked because you could see, like, a stingray floating in the sea. <laughs> And there was like fish going by. It's a really beautiful game. It really is. This is definitely my favorite hub world in uh, LEGO video games, if I'm honest. Like I loved Manhattan in the first game, but I just I just adore Chronopolis. I can't get enough of it. It's definitely my favorite. Alright, let's loop back around. Uh, oh, we want to get back, back on that bridge, really, don't we? I'm just going to cheat a little and just get to the top. Hi, Spider-Woman. Right, there is actually a race over here, I think. Let me see. Nope, that's Jessica Jones. Quicksilver, there he is. I think it's over here somewhere. No, that's... Uh... Oh, okay, okay, I think I see now. Here it is! Yes! Excuse me, but I am acrobatic. I'm super fast. Alright, whatever. Fine. Maybe I had to add the uh, super, like the double jump ability for him to do that. So if you guys want to be able to do the acrobatic races, remember to do that, because I didn't do it. But there we are. We're back in Manhattan now. We'll run back to Avengers Mansion. And then we'll call it a day. Whee! Oh, whoever they got on snowplow duty seriously needs to up his game. It's like driving inside a bounce house around here. <laughs> the bad guys sure are keeping us busy. Can you take care of the incident near you? Wait, no, stop it. I want to. Yeah, and then that one. What? There we go. That works. There's some more bad guys over here. We'll just quickly take them out and then we'll go back to Avengers Mansion. If some kind super fighting a bunch of snowmen earlier. That's I'm only gonna be able to hit one of them. Yeah. Oh here we go. What? Wanda took one of my kills. Come on, Wanda. My hero turns out the cave of dragons did great job. I knew you could do it. Look like something big. I need a change of scenery. This is, a, I think this is actually one of my favorite customs to date. You know, running around like this is actually a lot of fun. And I'm quite happy with the hair I chose as well. Like, I, that was the thing that was bothering me the most. I went through remaking this character over and over again. Because I make the character first and then I do the video so I can see if, you know, if it looks good enough. And then I do the video afterwards and show you guys how to do it from scratch basically um but yeah i think it looks pretty cool i'm very happy with this and when i look at it you know the moment you think you know you've done a good job and it is when uh it when it looks like that character when you see this character and he's running by you see that blur and you see the blue and white colors and you think quicksilver 
that's when you know you've done a good job. So I'm happy. I, I see Quicksilver when I play as this and yeah. I hope you guys like him as well and I hope you have fun playing as him if you do make him uh, using the customizer in your games. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I've got lots more uh, character creation videos to come. I'm having a lot of fun making these and I'm so glad you guys are enjoying them. Enjoying watching them as much as I am enjoying making them because it's a blast. Anyway guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and as always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe.